Buenos dias. Morning, everyone. Morning. Here we are in sunny Benidorm. We're in the Poniente area today. So just in front of us is the Hotel Barley. And we are heading towards um, the promenade of the Poniente and then going to walk along the Poniente beachfront so you can have a look what it's like. Uh, it's a really nice and sunny morning today. We're uh, forecast 31 degrees today. Yeah, a bit of a scorcher. Oh, we dropped the dog. <laughs> morning, Kim. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Russell. Morning, Lisa. So today is a festival. It's a festival. Um, so it's a... Well, I think most places are open, but it is a, a Comunidad Valenciana festival. And, and I think it's a, a round Spain festival too uh, for San Juan. So last night, everyone should have been uh, running, jumping in the sea, uh, jumping over seven... Um, waves. seven waves uh, to rid themselves of bad luck um, and they should have been having bonfires and having picnics with friends um, but they, they kept the beach closed so that people wouldn't make any crowds um, morning to your mum she says she can't stop, she's got work to do morning mum, it work <laughs> morning Philomena, morning Kay, morning Tanya morning Lauren, morning Linda morning Dean, morning Margaret morning Lisa Morning Anne, 23 degrees in Manchester. Morning Danny, morning Gary. Morning all, morning everyone that's joining us. Oh, let me turn my alarm off. Alex, can you turn the alarm off from my phone, please? So just over there is the, um, the Delphin Tower that's in construction. So it's uh, having some work done to it. It's uh, yeah, it's been, in, it's been about two years, three years in the process, but it's, it's getting there. How's Rio today? Yeah, he's really good, thank you. He's uh, much better today. Um, yesterday he was pretty, pretty fine too. But bless him, the day before he wasn't, he wasn't right. But he's happy now. I think it must be dew claw injury time because my dog in England's also hurt his dew claw. Bless him but he's much braver than Rio. <laughs> he was smiling and laughing by the looks of it, whereas Rio's a bit of a, a bit of a wuss. <laughs> morning, Anne. Oh, I'm glad you're always excited to see us. Borda, it's a beautiful morning here in Wales. Morning, that's good to hear. Buenos dias from Howick, morning. So this is the main road. So if you head that way, it will take you eventually into Benidorm and up to the main streets there. This way, eventually, we'll take you to Villahoyosa. Um, but we're going to take a turn off and go past the, the, Delf, uh, yeah, the Delphin, the Bali, um, the Torre Dorada, um, and kind of have a look that way. Um, morning, Diane. Uh, morning, Barbara. Morning, Sue. Morning. Looks nice today. It's nice and sunny here in Glasgow, too. Oh, I'm glad we've all got some sun. So my, my virtual sun sending over, it worked. I did say I'm trying to send some over. <laughs> I made it work <laughs> not long till my birthday which means not long till the gimbal arrives <laughs> it's all exciting isn't it yeah all gonna be happening. what all gonna be happening. yeah you can't turn away if you're gonna talk um there's the Torre Dorada so last night they lit up um red and well, I think they had another color in it um, for San Juan, so they were flashing lights last night. Um, I did put a video up of San Juan from last year. So if you haven't seen the San Juan festival, uh, it's actually my favorite festival of the year. Not only is it right near my birthday, <laughs> but it is a good one. You, uh, you join with your friends and you have a picnic and you get bonfires and yeah, there's like loads goes on. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. And then on um, La Cala Beach, they tend to have a, a concert and live music and it all gets a bit crazy and they put loads of tables and chairs all along the, the main bars and they have loads more occupancy than they normally have, which is why this year they had to postpone it. So hopefully next year it'll be even bigger and even better because they'll have had a double the budget. Yeah. The yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Um, well, we always see people walking like towards La Cala. We've well, had the. the or we have had the picnic on Poniente and then moved over. Yeah. That's what I think a lot do as well. Because yeah. there's more space on Poniente to have your picnic and then you can move over to, to La Cala to finish Strat where you can kind of join in their festivities um, as they tend to do more than the Poniente area. Uh, morning Brooklyn, it's a scorcher in Manchester but I'd seen to be in Spain. Close your eyes, well no, keep your eyes open because you've got to see the video. <laughs> um, what can we say? Put the video up towards the sky, have the sun beating down and then it's like you're in Spain. Well more or less. <laughs> Hi from Leeds in the UK. Hi Stephen. Where's that hotel round that's been unfinished for over 20 years? It's half built. That's in La Colla de Finistrat. Um, so it's not quite this area if you're thinking about the same one I am. Uh, the really big eyesore one. <laughs> Good morning, Lauren Alexandria. Rio. Pouring it down in Donegal. Miss Benedon, wish we were there. Oh no! So my virtual son didn't work to there then. <laughs> Look at the barley. I love it. It's a lovely hotel. A really nice one. Um, it's quite out the way of the kind of Benidorm, the strip and all of this. So if you are coming to uh, the Bali, you would need to get a bus into, into town or um, a taxi. But the bus stop is right here. So where that man is standing, that's the bus stop. So that takes you directly into Benidorm. It's one euro 50. And outside of the Bali, at the front, you have uh, a taxi rank and there's, there's always um, taxis there ready and waiting. And there's the Calas Marina. Uh, that's a Blue Sea Hotel, I think. Yes. yes. Um, White Rose, they've recently, well, they not long ago did they open, and obviously they've had to close again through COVID. She's not opened yet. Good morning, going to be 31 degrees here in Oldham. Wow. Right, we're all going to have to go sit out in the garden and get our summer tan on and pretend we're all in Benidorm. I'll uh, carry on down. So, Calle Oviedo, this road just here, so if you do stay at the Bali or you're at this end, do recommend having a walk along there, um, as as you go along, it will take you to a nice viewpoint over Benidorm, um, which I have shown in uh, one of the previous, well, a couple of the previous other videos. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice walk along there, and it does take you down to the beach through the steps, and you get a couple of viewpoints on the way. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a good one to have a wander down. It's where the old um, beer academy used to be, but there's a hotel there now. Morning, Shell. <laughs> Cracking day in Yorkshire. Oh, glad to hear it, Cherie. Morning, Christine. Morning, Linda. Morning, Jean. Gonna be 28 degrees, says Nick. Fantastic, I'm glad you're all getting some sun. Staying in the Torre Dorada in August. Well, oh, it's gone behind the Calas Marina. <laughs> it's just along there. Um, this is um, Vespucci, so they do have one in our beer as well, um, but it's a pirate ship style um, Italian restaurant and it's really nice. You get some good pan e alioli there, um, but you know, we've not been in a while and they've got an outdoor and indoor and it's all, um, all laid out like the ships and yeah, they've got good, uh, there's a room in there that you can have a look as well um, when it's open. And it's kind of got lots of memorabilia of like sea life. Good morning, Rio, Lauren and Alex from all of us on the Cafe Bellon group. Thanks for another lovely walk around. Oh, thanks, Joan. Morning and morning to everyone in the group. Uh, morning, Lauren and Alex from Rio and all the fellow walkers. Lovely and hot in Darlington. Looks lovely. Missing Bellon. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, thanks, Carol. I'm glad that you are, that people enjoy them and having a wander around and kind of Letting us take you around Benidorm every morning. Or around the Costa Blanca, I should say. Because we're not always in Benidorm. Hola, everyone. Hope you're all well. Enjoy the walk. Wolf to Rio. Take it easy. Love, Mr Q. Aw, oh, thanks. There's Rio. He's trotting along. I've got new shoes on today, and I'm not really sure how to walk in them. So I might be shaking the video more than normal. I'm trying so hard to, like, walk normally in these shoes. Yeah, we went on a Primark trip yesterday. Uh, I think there was letting in just over a thousand people were allowed at maximum capacity. Uh, morning Terry, morning Michael. 
I love how you say morning to each other as well. Like we all start to like know each other and stuff now, don't we? Uh, have a great morning, looking hot. Hope to see you soon. Um, come out for a holiday. Oh, fantastic, Anthony. Uh, so this is Bistro No Name. Apparently they think they're keeping the name as no name. Um, as they have started to promote themselves on social media with Bistro No Name. Um, but yeah, they're a new, new bar. They're quite nice. And just here is the Ginger Nuts, which I know a lot of you do know. They're not there anymore, so they've closed. Um, so Kevin and Jeannie, who used to run it, they've retired. So the Ginger Nuts is not there anymore. So I'll be, uh, wonder what will be there next. There you go, look. We seized trading on the 27th of November. So it's now for rent. Uh, so they left on the 27th of November. Just over there is La Falua, um, and that's a really nice cafe. Uh, you can get, well, you can also go to the restaurant downstairs, but the cafe is really nice. Just watched it, it reminded me of Las Fayas in March. It's very similar to Las Fayas. Um, it's on a much smaller scale, um, but yeah, it is a good fiesta. So if you are in um, Benidorm in June, at the end of June, then it's, uh, it's good. Poor Rio, did he get his douche claws removed? We always got them removed on our dogs. We were in Alicante a few times during Hogueras and the work that goes on in the festival is amazing. He hasn't had them removed actually. Um, they just kind of pulled it out for him and, and trimmed them down. Um, so our vet just said, you know, just let's just trim it and see what happens. Rios tend to curl over, which I'm not sure why. Uh, this is the Grand Hotel Delphin. It's a nice hotel. Uh, you can sit out there in summer and they have live music and you don't need to stay at the hotel and they have a nice terrace which we'll come to in a moment. What part of Liverpool is Alex originally from? Uh, I was born in Liverpool myself. The hospital doesn't exist anymore, apparently. Oh, you're old. Uh, and uh, I grew up on the river, really, until we moved down to Leicester. Um, so, up to in There you go. Morning from Amersham, Buckinghamshire. Lovely and sunny and hot. Ah, just for anybody who wonders, somebody messaged me saying that I don't wear a mask when I walk past people. Well, as soon as I see people come in, I put the mask up. <laughs> Though it turned out that they ended up moving away anyway, so I can put it down again. <laughs> Morning, Karen. Um, so the police have reiterated today that um, you do need to wear a mask. So if you're a tourist and you're here, if you're walking into a restaurant or a bar, you have to wear a mask. Um, so it's a like it or lump it kind of case. Um, once you're sitting in the restaurant, you can take your mask down. Or if you're walking around like this, you can have it here or you can put it in your pocket. But you do have to have a mask on your person. Um, and that's for everybody over the age of six or you can be exempt if you um, have any breathing difficulties or you know asthma and things like this um, some people say why do you keep putting them up and down so we are recommended um, by our local police and stuff they do recommend that as individuals if you do want to it is recommended to put them down when you're not near people as long as you can keep the one and a half meter distance just because it is so hot um, and you know, it, it can get a bit, a bit difficult to breathe, especially if you're doing exercise. Uh, can't wait to go on holiday again. Oh, hopefully, um, these virtual holidays have kind of been a bit of a consolation while we've not been able to get over here. Oh, my dad's just sent a photo of them watching on the TV. Hiya, morning. Morning, mum and dad. Maybe Oliver if he's awake. Don't know. Don't know if he's awake. <laughs> Morning. This is Portus Masai, and that is the Delphin um, Terrace, so that you can sit out there. Um, yeah, and it's really nice at night. They've got kind of live music, or sometimes they just play kind of relaxing music, and nice place to sit out morning from what's going to be a very sunny and hot Birmingham oh good to hear I had a message from Christine this morning she said she wasn't able to watch Christine Arthur because she's going to work but she did remind me to uh, put my watch on for steps 
And you know what? I haven't. <laughs> so hold the camera a second, Alex. I know this is le lethal when you do. Yeah. Well, yesterday the beach was uh, closed, but today it's back open. So yeah, there we go. Lauren's now put a watch back on. I'm on. She's on. I'm on the watch. On the watch. Six seconds of exercise, I think, today. I'm spinning around because Rio's wrapping me up with the lead. I'll sit back over. So, we're going to take a walk to um, the end here, and that will give you a nice viewpoint of uh, Levante. Did you watch Leicester last night, Alex? It was a dismal draw. Uh, I didn't watch the game last night. We were, at the, we, we were at an Italian restaurant yeah. in Spain, ran by French people, and they didn't speak Spanish. And they, well, they spoke a little bit of Spanish. And I kind of panicked and spoke Spanish because I always do. And then they kind of panicked and was like, do you speak French? I was like, no, only Spanish and English. And then, so they tried to speak to me in Spanish. And then I thought maybe if I just spoke in English, we'd probably understand ourselves better. But we still kind of, they felt like they had to be polite and speak to us in Spanish. And when I tried English, they was like, oh, thank you for helping us. Merci, merci. And then I was like, maybe I should just speak in English. But anyway, they carried on with Spanish. I think they were trying to be nice, like yeah. thinking we were Spanish. It was a little bit confusing. Like the food was really good. Yeah, the food was lovely. Was good. I had a steak. Uh, and it, was, it was just kind of a, a bit of a weird experience. Experience. It was just strange. You don't expect, and well, maybe you do, I don't know. We just expect it either to be ran by Spanish or ran by English or ran by Italians. Mainly ran by Italians or Spanish being an Italian one. But yeah, there's the beach. Lots more people on it now. Lots more people having played in the port, well, playing in the sea. And yeah, it's nice to see that things are picking back up. So tourists are allowed here now. So they're allowed whether they're from Europe or whether they're from um, Spain, different areas. Uh, somebody said, have uh, people from out of Europe come yet? And in short, no. But if they have, like for example, if someone's from Brazil, but they live, let's say in England, they, they can come because they'll have been in England for the duration. Hotter than Ibiza here today in Staffordshire. Oh, it's like competition. <laughs> Working from home so we can watch you live today. Should have been on a plane this morning to La Cala de Mijas. Oh, sorry, Sarah. Is there still thugs managing the doors in Benidorm? Don't know what you mean. Do you mean in the bars? Do you mean like the strip? I don't know. I don't go down there, to be honest. We've only been uh, walking down there recently to show videos. Yeah, hope you're all, uh, hope you're all got your sun cream on, it's going to be so hot today. Morning guys, have you ever done Denia to Ibiza and is it worth doing a day or best spend a night there? I haven't done it, but my friend did Denia to Formentera and they did it in a day. But there's a lot less to see in Formentera than there is in Ibiza. So I know when we've looked at doing it, um, we have looked at staying for the night just because there are so many nice places in Ibiza to stay and... Uh, yeah, so we've always thought if we're going to do it, we'll do it for the weekend. The other option is we've looked at flying from Alicante to Ibiza. Um, so a couple of summers ago, we flew from Alicante to Mallorca and it took 50 minutes. And the flight with Iberia, I think it was something like 20 euros each, each way. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth looking into a plane as well. It's so, like so quick, much quicker than the ferry and sometimes a lot cheaper. And you don't have customs when you land. <laughs> so you just wander straight through and you're in it. Went to the beach yesterday in Tenerife in Spain. Oh, I love that. That's what you have to do, Trenna. Love it. Morning, Suzanne. Sonia, 30 plus today in Amersham, Buckinghamshire. Oh, that's great. I love that you've all got some sun. Hola, looking for a holiday in September. Can't wait. Where are you planning? Benidorm. Are you planning Benidorm? Love your daily walks. They've really helped me through lockdown. Oh, thank you, Sharon coming for the fiesta in november oh fantastic so so far fiestas in november are still going ahead um how they'll go ahead i'm not sure if there'll be any changes but november's a long time away yet 
hope you don't end up with blisters. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm hoping not. They're getting a bit easier to walk now. One foot in front of the other. <laughs> I'm staying in the El Faro apartments in November. El Faro is actually where me and Alex used to live. Hiya! Oh, are you watching? <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> oh, I love that people see us now. Um, morning to you all, hope you're all okay, Rio's poor, is better now. Um, yeah, El Faro is just behind, um, so it's probably about, uh, how far from my walk would you say it's to the beach? Five minutes? Can you see us? <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Oh, thank you! Bye! Oh, I love that. Oh, I hope she puts the picture on my wall. <laughs> Morning, Lauren Alex. Oh, sorry, do you want to say something? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Elfire is about two, three minutes from the beach. It's literally the second road back. Yeah. It's so close. Yeah. And uh, if you stay, well, I, mean, I don't know if you like heights, but if you do like heights, you get a lovely view from near the top. Um, if you don't like heights, you get a lovely view of the pool. So both, both ways work. <laughs> um, we know the staff there as well, and they're really nice. Because, um, yeah, we used to live in that apartment block. Yeah, we did. We did. That was our first apartment in Benidorm. Uh, morning, Lauren Lights and Rio. Should be arriving on Friday for your birthday for our sixth visit. Is it cancelled or is it going ahead? Is it we should have been or is it we might be? Uh, missing Benidorm loads, love your videos and walks. Thank you, Julie. I went on a Primark trip too. Talk about a heat wave in Belgium, enjoy the walk. Hope you're enjoying your uh, coffee and cig, Kim. This is where I'm staying in 59 days, can't wait. Lovely to see us, I've never stayed this part before. Oh, you'll love it, Danielle. It's uh, so quiet and nice and then you've, you're so close to you can either walk into Benidorm if you fancy it, or the bus is only 150. So yeah, lovely. Morning, my favourite trio from a glorious sunny Ashington off, uh, up to my dad's in the countryside to do his cleaning and pinch one of his lounges. <laughs> oh, I love it, Carol. Um, morning, Lauren Alex and Rio. No sunny today. Oh, no, Joyce. My virtual sun hasn't reached you. Um, mm -mm. Can you do a walk around the Yellow Brick Road area up to Rio Park and around that? We definitely can. We did it a few weeks ago, but it's been a while now. So yeah, for definite, we can go around there. Oh, my dad's commented. Morning, Lauren Alex and Rio. Morning. Sorry, I was putting my mask up. <laughs> Morning, Jan. Keeps freezing. Is it freezing for everyone else or is it, is it somebody's Wi-Fi? Oh no, hope I've not froze. Watching on mum's iPad on the TV. Ah, oh, that's good. My King Charles nails are the same. We trimmed the other day. His were curled. It's strange, isn't it? I wonder if it's a King Charles thing. I mean, they were really dug in, bless him. Hi, you two. Really nice to see Rio. It's good to see him out and about again. He was, he's been a bit needy with me today. He's been very wanting cuddles all the time, which I'm not complaining, but that's why my hair's still wet. <laughs> You must have been born in either Oxford Street or Mill Road Hospital, Alex, because both... Ah, Alex, you must have either been born in Oxford Street or Mill Road Hospital, because both are closed. There, there we go, then. I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> it narrows it down. You've got two yeah, now. Are the pubs open? Yes, they are. Pubs are open. Um, indoors and outdoors. <laughs> Morning all. Just popped on for a sneaky quick peek at the wall. Should be working. Don't tell anyone. Your secret's safe with us. I won't even say your name. <laughs> wow, everywhere looks so clean. It's always lovely and clean around here. Um, I did see an article the other day in one of the local papers saying that this dirty park was resembling Benidorm. I thought, well, Benidorm isn't actually that dirty. The bins get emptied every night. The streets get jet washed at seven in the morning every day. I mean, sometimes the strip gets a bit filthy. But I wouldn't say it's to the extent of what this part looked like. And especially as they said, Benidorm in the Costa del Sol. I mean, come on. Is it hard to Google Benidorm and it says Benidorm Costa Blanca? So I replied to him saying, oh, I didn't realise I lived in the Costa del Sol. I'll have to change my address. 
<laughs> Morning from Ibiza to all. Primark trip is needed for me too. Hoping to pop over to Valencia soon uh, for Primark. Talking to mascot. A unicorn yesterday. Oh, I love that, Nikki. Hopefully we'll get over to Ibiza soon, Nikki. You'll have to tell us where's good. It's been years since I went to Ibiza. Um, yeah, I was probably... Well, I don't know how old I'd have been when I last went. 12, maybe? Maybe even younger. Don't know, mum and dad will tell me. <laughs> Morning from sunny Liverpool. Hope you have a lovely day, Lauren and Alex. Oh, thank you. You too, Tony. So here's the park that's back open. Isn't it so nice to see people out and about again? People doing exercise, people sunbathing. So much nicer. And big celebrations are in order because I've heard that Boris has announced that the pubs are opening on the 4th of July. It's like Independence Day. <laughs> Freedom. Um, and hairdressers. But not um, beauty parlours, which is funny, because they opened the same day for us. So when the, the hairdressers opened, so did nails and stuff. Or not, well, actually, it might have been a bit, bit later. Anyway, hairdressers have been open ages here. Um, hot here on the Costa del Clacton on sea. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Enjoy the sun, Claire. All oh, the sun's in my eye. I can't see the comments. Ah. Hi from a sunny Sunderland. Glorious weather here today, but I'd rather be where you are. Oh, thanks, Christine. Your work, your work, your walk certainly bring us close to Benidorm and help to fill a gap until we get back. Of course we watch because of you three. That goes without saying. Oh, thanks, Donna. Just had a text from my dad, which I'm assuming is from my mum as well, saying I was nine when I last went to Ibiza. So there you go. That would have been, Alex, what's 26 take away nine? 17? 17 years ago. Oof. Yeah, I think I might have to go back and see what it's like. Hi, uh, hope you're both okay. Thunder and dark down in Matheron. Oh, no! Wish I was there right now. Oh. Morning. Can you show me a pic of the hotel at the end, please? Stayed there 55 years ago. It was called Alonis then. Oh, which one is it? Is it... Wow, which one is it? I'll Google it and find it, and then I'll, I'll um, send it to you, Joy. Morning, you three. Glad Rio's better. Making me feel happy looking around the familiar sights in Benidorm. Oh, I love it. A seafood, seafood platters take away. Oh, nice. Little things are more enjoyable these days. Totally agree. Take, take for granted some of the things we were able to do before lockdown. Yeah. Look, look down, lockdown. I'm not sure I want my pre-lockdown completely back, though. Yeah. There's certain things I liked about lockdown. Yeah. Certain things have been kind of eye-opening. So... I don't know if I want the hustle and bustle and running for trains and running for buses and all of that again. I have liked working from home. Um, my auntie's flight with EasyJet from Liverpool cancelled for the 9th of July. Oh no. Sorry to hear that, Louise. I know um, a lot of flights are cancelling. It's funny 9th of July though, because I thought they were looking at potentially accepting holidays from the 4th, um, unless that was just something I saw in the UK. Maybe it was internal, I'm not sure. August 3rd for us. My kids are so excited. Oh, that's great, Hayley. Do you know the dates for the November fiestas? It's always the second Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, not that right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put the dates up. I never know it offhand. Um, but they usually have the big fair come as well, which is uh, good fun. I love Ibiza town. Got up to the viewpoint there. My parents used to have a timeshare in Cala Yonga, Ibiza. Lovely area. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Perhaps I might have to have a look there you're a celeb now lauren <laughs> and alex and rio rio's the real celeb rio's the real rio 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 grand is the real star rio rio he literally doesn't respond to his name <laughs> like <laughs> well, he knows you're saying it yeah he couldn't care less that you speak to him he's very much uh he's got an ego you see haven't you He's a bit, bit of a diva. He is a diva. He is a diva. We were going to come out for Fiesta in November, but we've now decided for December for our 30th wedding anniversary. Ah, oh, that's lovely, Adele and Kev. Say good morning to me. Morning, Kate. Oh, can't morning. See. Morning. Hi, Heather. Uh, hello, everyone else that's here. Lauren, are you still in Poniente? We are still in Poniente. Good morning from Antonio in Alicante. Buenos dias, Antonio. Oh, Molly was watching Rio. Rio, Molly was watching you. 
Marley is one of his best friends. They met at Christmas and yeah, they loved it. Bus 155, when was the last time you got the bus? Bus is 155 now. Since when has the bus been 155? It's always been 150. Last time we got the bus was November. 155. I mean, and I don't mind the extra five cents, but it's a bit of effort, isn't it? Because you always just have a euro and a 50 cents. <laughs> it was always easy. Yeah, it was easy. Two coins. Uh, good to hear that it was fine for everyone else. How lovely to get a shout out from someone on a balcony in Benidorm who's actually watching the walk. Hello to whoever you are. Yeah, please put the picture on my wall. It'd be great to see. Not frozen for anyone else. Oh, I think it must have been um, your own Wi-Fi then if it was freezing. Uh, 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 crystal clear, not freezing at all. Better than a TV programme. What a compliment. Thanks, Alan. I feel like we're getting one of them travel programmes up and going. We're going to have to start seeing uh, more places in Spain to show you around. Just because it gives us an excuse to see more places in Spain. <laughs> it's always nice and relaxing to hear the... Um, the sea in the morning. I've got my hair appointment 6th of July. Oh, that's amazing. But you can't wait. I hate that people think that Bendom is just the strip. I've been going to Bendom since I was 12. Barely ever go near the strip. The rest is so much nicer. That's it. It's there if you want it. But, you know, there's so much more to Benidorm and the, and the Costa Blanca. Still two metres distance in and pubs not open in Scotland. Oh, so it's just England then. I did see someone upset about Wales as well, that there's not, not having so much. We did this walk in January around the beach on the other side. We don't know what it's called. Ah, would that be La Colla de Finistrat? Stayed in the Villa del Mar. Ah, oh, lovely. I'd like to stay there. They've got a nice um, pool on the top. Ikea is open in Edinburgh. Oh, that's it. DIY's back up. <laughs> you must come back over. 17 years is too long. There'll be lots of changes. Message me anytime. Would be lovely to meet up. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Definitely. I'll definitely uh, ask you for some recommendations of places to eat. Like things to see. Fiesta is normally nights. Yes, that does sound right. Nights to the 13th of November. That does sound right. Rio is such a handsome boy. Oh, thanks. Let's carry on a little bit. He is a bit of a diva, though. There he is, look. <laughs> it went up in January the 26th when we were there. Ah, that's why. So January was when it went up. Oh, well... I better change then. Right, you can get the bus into Benidorm, but it's one euro fifty-five. Oh, that's awkward because it always used to be like two people, three euro either. Now what's it going to be? Three euro, euro ten. ten. Like <laughs> 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 ten cents. It doesn't bother me, like because we don't use the change. It just gets thrown as tips and stuff because it's it's nothing money, is it? Five cents and one cents and it's just the effort of working. So it was so easy to work out, and I feel like it's been one fifty for absolutely ages. Yeah, so you've never known it as anything else. I've never known it as anything else. So, it's always been one. That's it, maybe it's every five years, goes up by a cent, <laughs> and they go up in five cent increments. Uh, I've got my hair for the 8th of July. Oh, that's amazing. I'm glad you're all getting your uh, hair appointments in. Uh, good morning, morning, Randy. Oh, all the messages saying you're loving the view. <laughs> Love your videos and your cute dog. Oh, thank you. Enjoying your walk in Luton. Thanks, Karen. Is there anyone that's watching for the first time? Where are you from? Never been to Benidorm. Looks lovely, cloudy and wet here in Scotland. Oh no. Sending you some sun, Karen, and hopefully you uh, get to see a bit of Benidorm and maybe it might change your mind of uh, what you might have thought about it in the past if you ever did have any opinion. I know uh, the UK media do like to, to slate Benidorm. Me and Alex have a, a theory, don't we? We think that UK media like to trash talk Benidorm because they know lots of people love Benidorm. So people will jump on and, and kind of defend Benidorm and it gets some engagement. So yeah, it's 2 50 in Scotland on a bus. Oh yeah, in England, it was so expensive when I went on a bus. <laughs> um, what was it? I only went into like the town centre. I think it was like five pounds for me. I was like, five pounds? I can get to Alicante for less than that. <laughs> but yeah. I think we always get that shock as well now. Like after having a coffee here, we'll probably pay 70 cents or maybe a euro. And like for two euros, we can get a breakfast with coffee. And then we went to a cafe in Leicester and it was like six pounds with a coffee. I was like, what? Six great British pounds. I don't know, like a piece of cake and a drink now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Twenty pound. Like ten, fifteen quid. Yeah. Here, six euros. Yeah. <laughs> I've had everything I need. Yeah. <laughs> Always get that shock. <laughs> sunny and hot in Edinburgh. Oh, that's good. Watching from sunny Western Supermare. Oh, morning, Dave. Tell Karen it's gorgeous in Edinburgh, sunny and warm. Karen, it's gorgeous in Edinburgh, it's sunny and warm. <laughs> Love Benidorm. Oh. Stayed up in the Poniente area, um, in the Torre Dorado. It's beautiful and peaceful. Oh, it really is. It's such a nice area. The question we have for the Torre Dorado, did you see the lights? We've already asked this, they said no. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't. It's on the outside of the balconies, so you don't see them. Um, east coast of Scotland, the sun is shining. Ah, oh, I love um, Edinburgh. We went last January, me and my mum, and it was so nice, a lovely city. If you're a pensioner, you can get a discount card saving 20 cents per person. Oh, that's good to know. So you can get a saving if you're a pensioner on the buses. If you are riding them regularly, just like the tram, you can get a tram card or a bus card, which makes them uh, cheaper journeys as well. Obviously, it depends how much you're going to use it. Um, the tram card's really easy to get, and you can top that up at the, the tram stations and stuff, and it kind of works out to. I think it makes the tram journey 120 instead of 135. Have you been to the island? We can see Lauren. We have been quite a few times, um, but I do believe the boat isn't running yet. Though I have heard that Fuentes de Algarve, so the Algarve fonts, is open as of today. So that means very soon. We will go there and, sh and have a walk around there and show you what Donna said. I get very protective bend on when I hear people slating the place. You can guarantee the comments usually come from people who haven't been. Exactly. It's people who either haven't been or only came on maybe a stag or Hindu and only went to the strip, which is un like, you know, understandable if you are on a party holiday, but they then tarnish the whole of the resort, the whole of the Costa de Blanca, really, to be honest, as, as being like that. My daughter's holiday to Ibiza was cancelled this year, but we're looking forward to Lanzarote, end of July. I've never been to Lanzarote either. That's somewhere that I quite like the look of, from Gran Canaria. Love this place. Only came for the first time. Stayed in Grand Bali. Won't stay anywhere else again. We get a taxi into Bendham. It's 10 euros. Better than sitting on the bus. I think as well, if you are coming as a family, you're probably better getting the a taxi, because by the time you've all paid for the bus, at 1.55... <laughs> Take yeah, it takes longer and weaves round. <laughs> and they go around the houses. <laughs> they weave round and yeah, so if you are multiple or if you're with your friends or whatever, you share it between you. It's 420 all day bus ticket and 210 single journey here, Northern Isle on the bus. I think that must have been what I had, an all day bus ticket. Um I always go to Malaga because of my son living there and I've never been to Bendorm, I didn't realise how lovely it really is, but now I will, thanks to both of you. Oh thanks Sue. Can we, can we see you, Lauren, swim to Pigeon Island while I explain you? There is no way I am swimming to that island that is a lot further than it thinks. <laughs> We've, oh, some people, well, you've kayaked to it, haven't you? I've kayaked to it from Villa Poyosa. Um, it's a fair way out. Yeah. It's not close. And there is no way I'm swimming in that sea. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's quite, quite a long way out. But we it's do see a lot of people trying to swim it and then they've, been some accidents of some people trying where they've either had a drink and tried to swim out and they've had to get saved and yeah, yeah people don't advise people underestimate just how far out it is it's a bit further than you think yeah the island's actually quite big yeah and it doesn't look it and it's um, actually over the horizon yeah so it is but do recommend having a swim round in the sea there when you do get the bus uh, the bus the boat over because <laughs> talking about buses our holiday on Friday was cancelled. We were going with Jet 2. Aww. Always stay at the Toronto Old Town. Can't believe we're going to miss it this year. Oh, we've stayed at the Toronto. I love Alex's Looney Tunes t shirt. Thanks. There he is. Right, let's uh, put your armbands on. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we will. Mm. <laughs> you, I'll leave you to do that, but don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. That would be lovely to see the island you just mentioned. Didn't get the chance to go there while we're in Benidorm. It was winter. Oh, hopefully, um, hopefully you enjoy it. I think we get a signal over there. I'm pretty sure we've sent pictures over. Got me a bikini. Ready for the beach now. We were staying there two years ago. We were on the bus. The overhead light fitting fell down on my head. Oh, dear. oh my god. Was that the Toro um, Torre Dorada? No. Right, pick Rio up. He likes to say goodbye. Come on, buddy. Right. 
from all three of us. Have a good day. Oh, <laughs> did you get him waving? Um, have a good day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock UK time again. Um, I'm not sure where we'll be, um, but we'll we'll be somewhere on the top of the line, won't we? We will be. And then what day is it tomorrow? Thursday. Ah, and then it'll be Friday, it'll be my birthday. So we'll go live on Friday and it'll have my gimbal and all that malarkey. And then we're going to take two days holiday. <laughs> so we're going to have two days off to, to relax. Can't we, Rio? There we go. Have a good day, everyone. And so we'll mañana. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. One last.